Now let's talk about concrete fascias. Assuming you want to have a custom type of concrete fascia that isn't really, that doesn't come standard with your regular Archicad concrete moldings or concrete fascia, if you will. So let's talk about that for a second and how to actually get concrete fascias, like custom concrete fascias like this. So to do that, the first thing you want to do is to have a rough sketch of the profile of your concrete fascia. Think of it like your section. You have to sketch out what the section would look like and then you let's just start working so you see what I mean. Now, I already have a rough sketch of what my concrete fascia is going to look like and I'm going to use my line tool under the documents tab. I'm going to click on it once just to activate my line tool. I like to keep it as black, so yeah. All right, so I want to sketch the profile of what my concrete fascia would look like. I'm going to have a full effective height of 675. Sorry, 675. And this other width would be 725. All right, I'm going to have 225. Yeah, this 225 I have is basically my wall because I want to have my concrete fascia to sit on my wall, not just starting from an arbitrary angle. When I'm done, you see what I mean exactly. So just follow me carefully. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to sketch the profile of what the concrete fascia would actually look like. So I'm going to have 75 here. I'm going to have 75, that's three inches. Oh, got out this, that's not what I need. I'm going to have click on this, take it up a little bit, 225. I'm going to take it back 75. Probably take it out by 50. I want it out by 50 again. Uh, yeah. I'm going to take this down by 50. 75. All right. what I'm looking for. Alright, I'm just going to give this a small curve. Probably this. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm just going to fill this using my fill tool and this is my fill tool. I click on it once. I hold my space bar and then I just do that. So this is what I'm actually going to use. This is what I'm actually going to use to create my concrete fascia under my complex profile. So I'm going to copy this, just Control C, Control C. Now after copying this with Control C, I'm going to come to Options, Complex Profile, and then Profile Manager. So what I want to do is to create a new custom profile manager, a new complex profile rather, and then have the section of my concrete fascia that I already have sketched out in my floor plan. So I'm going to come to this tab called new. I'm going to click on new. I'm going to ensure I'm activating the new tab based on the fact that this is a newer model of Akikad, the Akikad 26. The earlier versions are not like this, but if you're using this model or later than this, you're going to have to click on new profile because you want the software to know that you're actually using a new profile, not just duplicating what's already there. I'm going to go with the concrete since concrete fascias are basically concrete structures. So I'm going to click on new. All right, so this is your default um, profile. So I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to click Control V and I'm going to paste this. Just drag it and this is how I want it to be. All right, now the reason why I have to take it to the reference of my, the X reference on my new profile workspace is so that when I'm attempting to draw my wall, it's not just arbitrarily drawing a random wall with no reference because this one is actually going to be a reference wall. So that's why I need, because this one is actually good. I'm going to draw my reference from the edge of my existing wall. So if I don't have the reference placed at one edge and, I'm try, and I try to draw it randomly, it might just be a little bit more chaotic. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. So I'm going to save it. That's save. I've saved the profile. It's under the uh, name new profile under the concrete tab. So I'm going back to my ground floor. I'm going back to my ground floor. What I want to do is to come to wall. 
I open my world tool, I come to the custom, that's this first one, complex profile, I click on it. I'm going to select concrete structures and this new profile is what I need. Now before I do that, there's one thing I forgot to do. Let's go back to concrete facials, complex profiles rather. Let's go back to complex profile and let's just edit that. So I'm going to click on this. I'm supposed to override the edges so that I give it the uniform color of white, assuming I want to use white. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to come to this first one, custom edge settings. I click on it. What I want to do is to ensure all of the surfaces are the same. So I'm going to override this first surface, click the surface and let's search um, paints. Let's say I'm using a glossy white paint, for example. And then I'm going to click on this and say apply to all edges. So all the edges are effectively going to have the white paint color. Then I click OK. All right, I've done that. Then I'm just going to resave it again. So my settings is going to reflect. So I'll go back to the ground floor, go back to my wall tool, complex, custom, the first one. What I'm looking for is concrete under new profile. Then I click it and I say OK. Right, I'm going to start drawing it now from the edge. I'm going to start drawing it from the edge. I just see how that looks like. All right. That's actually perfect, but my orientation is not as good as what I want it to be. So I'm just going to I'm going to click on the wall. I'm going to come to my orientation offset from bottom so we have it at zero here i'm just going to make it 3300 so it's sitting directly on top of my building so you see how well placed it is directly on the wall that's because the height of my wall is 3300 i had that set initially when i was working on the story settings elevations of, the, of my tab so what i want to do is i'm going to control z that or I'm just going to come here and delete it. So I'm going to draw it as a single unit wall, not just different lines. So I'm going to go back to my wall tool. We are doing the same thing, but I'm making this 3,300. And we can decide to make this white also. It's not really needed since I'm not going to have any open edge space. So that's not really needed as such. So I'm clicking OK. Now, if you're wondering why I'm drawing the wall from the inside, and not just from the outside. It's because I intentionally did my concrete facial profile in such a way that that wall, that's, let me let me show you, this section, this wall that we have here, is part, is gonna be part of the existing building line. So this, this, this 225 by 225 we have here is basically the size of my wall. So I want the concrete facial to sit on top of the wall, not just lapping to the side of the wall. That's why I had it placed that way. So I'm going to click on this edge because of the way I drew my profile in such a way that that first 225 is from the inside and also the way I placed it on my concrete facial on the complex profile window. I want to make this a chain wall. And then I click on it, come to this edge, click on it, come to the next edge, click on it, come to this last one and that's it, continue. So if you go to your 3D, this is basically what you have. Seamless and wonderful, there's no, there's no need for stress. Voila, and that's just all you need. Now, there are other types of, there are, there are more designs that could make this a lot better, but I'm going to leave this at this stage for now. So just so I don't overcomplicate the entire process, there are actually way more designs. Maybe in another video, I might decide to cover that. But this is essentially how you use your con your complex profile to have a custom concrete fascia within your property. Assuming if this profile is not already part of my part of the object, like I showed you in another in a separate video. If you don't have that the profile you want to use, and then you want to use something like this, and maybe that's that that might just be better for you. But this is how you do it: concrete facial, complex concrete facial using complex profile i'll be concrete fish around using complex profile so thank you very much for watching and until next time everyone stay safe see you in the next video